But, 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 in my defense, right? Yeah, I know you see me all in your notifications. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little montage of me doing my makeup or whatever. I promise it looks better if actually facing the light. As y'all can see, the light is behind me, so it's looking a little, but it looked better the other way. Anyway, so as y'all can tell by the title of this video, I'm so excited. So today is day one of the shoot for my brand. We have some new products on the way, which I will introduce you guys everything um, in this vlog right now I'm actually putting on press-ons uh, now because if you guys watched the end of the last vlog then you would know that I wasn't able to um, get my makeup I mean get my nails done yesterday which I was highly upset about but luckily I had some um, press-ons here still so this is what they look like they're very nude and simple they're fine but again this is going to be a hair shoot you know we're focused on my hair I will be washing my hair I'm just hoping, you know, the press-ons are as strong as they need to be for this. Did y'all know press-ons actually have the number on the back so you know what number each nail is so, like, they match? I did not know that. These were out of the box, though, so they're all over the place. So I still got to go searching um, for the matching number. But, yeah, I'm about to apply these press-ons and then pack my bag so we can go ahead. Oh, let me rewind. Let me tell y'all, you know what's the plans and everything for today so y'all again i'm super excited about today but i'm also very nervous so i actually had to push back this shoot like twice this is the third date that we rescheduled for brendan is taking my pictures by the way um you guys should know him he did that vlogmas intro not too long ago the last vlogmas i did um he did that intro um he's taken up all the pictures of the shoots with me and kaya family shoots all of that sh he's taken i'm sure the vlog has met him um but yeah so i actually booked a hotel room for this suite and i tried to find the best hotel out here y'all because these rooms really were not giving like i booked a room specifically for um the bathroom and all of these bathrooms were ugly like my bathroom looked better than these bathrooms and i'm not gonna be paying almost 200 dollars for a hotel room and y'all bathroom look like this so i'm just hoping that this room looks how it looks online because we do know you know sometimes things aren't what they seem so i'm hoping that this room looks like what it looks like online and i'm also hoping they don't give me any troubles y'all because i kind of sort of not really accidentally booked two rooms and I say it like that because it wasn't an accident. I didn't, you know, actually book two rooms. I did, but it wasn't my fault. So it was my fault, kind of. Anyway, so the first time I went to book the room, I had used my Cash App card. Now, I'm one of those people, my Cash App card is locked 24-7 unless I'm using it. But this particular time when I booked the room, I forgot to unlock it. Mind you, I use Booking.com to book um, my hotels anywhere. If I'm going to New York for something, going on vacation, booking is the way to go. And I normally use booking because they have a free cancellation policy. Like you can literally cancel till up till two days before your trip. So I could book something all the way in December, December for Christmas. I could book something December 25th and I have till December 23rd to cancel it free, no charge. But this specific room that I booked, I don't know why, but they they did have an option where it would have been free to cancel but it was an additional twenty dollars which i feel not you know it was an additional forty dollars which i feel like is a cancellation fee that they included in the price so that if you cancel it's free but uh the room that i wanted to booking was $40 cheaper um and it also was no free cancellation no rescheduling none of that if I didn't show up they will still be charging my card the full amount um so that's kind of why I kept having to push the date of the shoot back it's kind of hard to read these numbers y'all um that's why I had to keep pushing the date of the shoot back because I was procrastinating on uh booking the actual shoot because I had to make sure I had you know 
all my eggs in order and everything and things just kept going on like yo yesterday i almost had a meltdown because the room was actually booked so like it was no turning back if we didn't do the shoot today they were really gonna charge that card but my printer was on some bs but i winded up you know getting everything situated handled it's we, we cool now but um yeah i say all of this to say so the first room i booked was with the cash app card so when they do the non-free cancellation it's non-refundable none of that you have to pay right then and there whereas the books that you can nor i mean the rooms that you can normally cancel up until two days before your trip you're not paying till two days before your trip they'll just lock in that price for you you know it's reserved for you so nobody else can book it um so yeah this room was obviously different so when they went to try to charge my uh, cash app card since it was locked it didn't go through so they winded up emailing me they were like you know um your reservation will be canceled if you don't call us to update your card blah, blah, blah. and i ain't giving nobody my card information over no phone so i just took it by myself to rebook another room I'm like all right whatever y'all about to cancel this one i'm gonna just rebook another one simple so i re rebooked the same room same date it was a cheaper price though um same name obviously different card so as the date got closer to the shoot they emailed me saying that i had um you know two reservations for the same day at the same place and they told me to cancel one but again it's not free cancellation but being that y'all are telling me to cancel one because there are two in my name i'm thinking it's gonna y'all gonna let me cancel one because regardless i'm gonna be there for one like and if i'm not y'all can charge me for that one room whatever um, and accidents do happen like I could have genuinely booked the room twice by accident so whatever booking I had to do all of this through booking.com and booking was like you know we got to email the hotel because you know it's pa this is a non-refundable room da -da -da -da. long story short the hotel never got back to me and booking said it should take up to 48 hours it's been longer than 48 hours so I'm just feeling like when I get to the hotel they are gonna try to charge me for both rooms which I hope they don't because it's not happening I'm not paying for both rooms it's just not happening because it's just not happening <laughs> like it's that simple if anything there could be two people with my same exact name who just so happen to want to come to this hotel the same day i did like you know like i'm not paying for both rooms and that's just that on that all right you guys so i'm on my way to the hotel now it looks like me and brennan are going to be getting there at the same time which actually for this hotel check-in i want to say it said like five o'clock and i feel like that's mad late like check-in is normally at three but again it all worked out because i had to wait for babe to get home so he you know he gonna have kaya or whatever um so i wasn't getting to the hotel till six o'clock the earliest anyways it's 5 50 now um but here you guys so i'm gonna take off my bonnet when i get to the hotel i do still have my twist on um that y'all saw at the end of the, uh, the last vlog if y'all haven't seen the last vlog pause this go watch that then come back and this is how my press ons turned out yo this tow truck is driving so slow y'all like so slow i need to get from behind them but yeah i think the press ons you know they're they're cute they're gonna you know serve its purpose and hopefully with the way he edits these pictures he can make them look a lot better because my issue with press-ons is they look like press-ons you know what i'm saying but these give the whole little ombre which i think kind of helps them look more, a little more natural you know what i'm saying but um yeah i got all this stuff in my car y'all i got that big old bag packed i bought my lights just in case he bought some lights too but he told me bring mine just in case because y'all know hotels be iffy um all right you turned all on the line hotels be iffy with the lighting so i bought my lights just to be safe i got my lights i got my tripod so i could put you guys up so y'all can you know get a little behind the scenes i thought about possibly making a reel or something i probably won't make a reel but i do want to make like a smaller simpler behind the scenes for instagram i guess a reel i guess <laughs> um but yeah you guys i will come back after we check in y'all it is hot outside but i just checked in and i had no issues they gave me no trouble i don't know if i got lucky because the two girls at the front they was new but like they didn't do anything that they weren't supposed to like they didn't you know accommodate for me because they were new or anything like that it just wasn't an issue like it was nice smooth and easy um 
just got charged for one room and so far I'm happy because the room looks how it looks online my only thing the bed it got red in it but like one of the pillows have red in it i'm gonna just take that pillow off and then the bottom of the bed that's red you can't really see but let me give y'all a quick little room tour that's the tv in the back they had playing yeah <laughs> um so this is the front door y'all focus y'all know my camera janky so this is the front door when you first come in and y'all the room is fairly big like i'm shocked maybe because i'm used to these little boxes in new york for one night uh stays but to the right of the door when you first come in it's the little coffee and bar area is this a fridge yes it is a fridge and a microwave y'all y'all know hotels don't be liking to give you microwaves because they want y'all to eat their food um but yeah this is to the right then over from that this is just a quick little overview of the room so got a little couch got this got a desk this is the bed the doors to the bathroom i'll show you how the bathroom last because y'all know the bathroom's the main attraction the tv and then this is the view from the bed this little desk area you can slide this oh not for oh yeah for privacy it has three slides so it'll close completely or whatever okay and then the window and the natural lighting is still up i actually need this for the shoot so yes y'all the view you can't really see they got this white thing on it but the view is nothing special i'm only on the second floor y'all but this is the bed and now the bathroom the reason i booked this hotel to begin with where's the lights y'all and then they have like a setup that is so perfect that i can put my products in instead of theirs the shower head's a little ugly too but it's better than mine so i guess that'll do it oh these don't come off so hold up i can't have somebody else's shower stuff in my shots and these don't come off y'all i don't think they do oh they think they slick all right he's gonna have to try really hard not to get this wow that just blew mine it would have been fire if i could have put mine in there but they got them like hooked on y'all what happens if they need to change it okay yeah these are stuck but the rest of the bathroom the mirror is really nice focus mirror is really nice sink area is really nice the toilet's over here that must be brennan did he get lost hello yeah, you said 223, right? 32. <laughs> 232. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I'm all, we all the way at the end. Not you about to try to break into somebody else's room. I tried. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, we about to get this party started. You gotta be there for two seconds. So hopefully, this is the bathroom. I'm gonna put more. <laughs> when it's closed, right? Do you think we should have it closed? And like when I'm walking over there, I open that and you catch that? I think feel like that could be a transition to you catching me from behind. Because I feel like the angle is gonna change. Hold on, where you want me to start? Like the glass or? Yeah. Well, I don't care, whatever you want to start from. Three, two, good. You went to bed. I went to bed. So. Yeah. Let me see. I'm crying through the marker. <laughs> I think the time, oh, I forgot you're short, I'm sorry. <laughs> a little earlier. Yeah, just a little bit. That mic could still work though. Like you not catching the mic. That's why I said a little slower on the, gotcha. on the wall. So y'all, quick little intermission, little update. So time now, it is 7.58 y'all. 
yeah time is a moving but it's because the very beginning of the video which you guys will see when the video comes out that one and also i got a little clip of it right before this clip that i'm filming now so that clip y'all literally took us so long to do just because i wanted it to be a smooth um a smooth clip like he's spinning the room and i didn't want any you know cuts like it's easy to film something and you mess up you just cut it or you throw in a transition something but i didn't want none of that i wanted that to be one two three smooth so we had to keep doing it over and over to make sure you know it was perfect because it's not much editing that you know we can do to fix it um so that's what took us the longest uh we also had to start from the end of the video to the beginning of the video y'all are gonna see when y'all see the final final uh, promo video so stay tuned for that um but brennan just went um brennan just went to get us some food so i'm like because i had to take down my hair so i'm like because he said he was gonna go get some food anyway so i'm like you want to go now because I gotta take down my hair anyway so you know instead of you just sitting here watching me take down my hair you can go get the food or whatever so by the time he gets back i will be done but really quickly let me let me introduce y'all to the lineup right this isn't everything but it, it ain't focusing and you know what we ain't even gonna let y'all focus y'all just see what y'all saw i'm gonna tell y'all what it is but for y'all to really see how it look y'all just gonna have to wait for launch date which as of today is going to be july 5th so stay tuned mark your calendars follow me on instagram follow the shop on Inst on instagram and everything so you guys don't miss out so i have in total it is six products so the first one well the first four will be sold as a set it's called the wash day kit so it includes a shampoo conditioner a leave-in and then a uh, hair lotion so each bottle is also labeled like number one number two aka step one step two step three step four um the other two products that i have is a multi-use conditioner and then the oil y'all but i got the oils in a new packaging so it is no longer in a glass bottle which i'm super excited about because y'all packing orders was so dreadful for me like it, it was just a lot like after putting the oil in the bottle putting the label on the oil i had to bubble wrap the label like I, I had a big roll of bubble wrap i used to have to measure it then cut it then roll the label up then tape it it was just a lot i'm over the bubble uh bubble wrap life granted you know i'm still gonna have to secure these um well the oils actually got something when you take off the top the little seal protector so those won't spill all all of the products have that um, but like as far as like while it's in the shipping box, I'm still gonna put you know an extra blanket of security or whatever. I was over the bubble wrap life, so now that it's in plastic bottles, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Then I just feel like the squeeze tube is way more efficient, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but shout out to the real ones who kept buying from the Doppler bottle. But Doppler bottles get annoying because they like the Doppler will be this long. And the oil will only pick up to like right here so you have to keep dipping it keep dipping it and that's annoying so i just feel like the squeeze bottle is way more efficient and also y'all i feel like i'm super loud i don't know if it's because the bathroom's so enclosed but whatever um it's a bigger bottle okay the previous one before this was 1.7 ounces mind y'all let's rewind when i first started selling the oil i had two sizes i had the two ounce size and then the four ounce size um with the last bottles I had, I wanted to upgrade the way the bottles looked. The first bottles was just a clear bottle with the black Doppler top. The bottles I just had were a frosted bottle with the rose gold uh, around piece and then a white Doppler uh, piece. So they were real, they were aesthetically cute, but they only made sense for me to get them in that size, the one point nine or 1.7 i think it was 1.7 ounces because the two ounce bottles they had like how much it cost for the two ounce bottle was a significant difference and i would have to charge out od for some oil and i wasn't gonna do that so um that's why the oil was a little cheaper than it was when it was two ounces because it was slightly smaller 1.7 ounces mind you you honestly probably couldn't have even like wouldn't have even been able to tell the difference if you ordered a two ounce bottle and then you ordered a new one and i sent you the newer bottles and it was the 1.7 because it looks fairly the same but i knew it was 1.7 ounces so i was gonna tell y'all that it was 1.7 ounces and i just lowered the price but anyway so i only offered it in that size because a two ounce or a four ounce bottle for what they were selling for was just 
I was like, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'll just sell it for the smaller, I'll just sell the smaller size and lower the price. But now, baby, we're back to four ounces. This is a four ounce bottle, squeeze a tab, tube, whatever, so it's easier to apply. So the leave-in is in spray form, and while I'm someone who does like um, cream leave-ins, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I did the spray leave-in so it can be used with the oil because y'all know if well if you've ever asked me for like how I use my oil on my hair and stuff, I always recommend using the oil on moisturized hair because oil is a sealant. Oil is not a moisturizer. So if you put oil on your hair that is already dry, it's not gonna get moisturized because it's oil and water don't mix y'all. So you need to moisturize your hair prior to adding that oil. So the way that I use my oil for one, nine times out of 10, I'm really using it um, when I have protective stylings or like with this twist out, I just put it all over my twist prior to um, taking it out. So it's also on my hands a little bit to reduce frizz. But most of the time I'm just using it when my hair is braided for my wigs or I got braids or something. So I'll spray my hair with a water bottle or in this case you can use the leave-in. Um, and then I'll take the oil and go in, in between my parts, rub something on my hand, rub it on the braids or whatever. Or I'll wait till I get out of the shower. Or I'll wait till I get out, out of the shower and my pores are freshly open so it's easier for the oil to penetrate and you know when you're in the shower and whatnot you sweat so it's kind of already a layer of moisture there if that makes sense so yeah so the next after the leave-in you have the um hair lotion so in this sense i used all of these products to get my hair like this today so the video we're shooting um you know kind of shows how i did that so we all know how to use shampoo and conditioner the leave-in i obviously sprayed all throughout my hair and then the lotion i use lotion mousse and gel unfortunately my line does not consist of gel and mousse yet so i just used the hair lotion then i went over with the mousse and then i used gel and now i'm using oil to take it out and y'all the twists are juicy. While they were still twisted and I was at work, which was the next day after I did them, the girl I worked with, she was like, oh my God, your curls look so nice. Mind you, they wasn't even curls yet, baby. They were still twisted up, but they were so juicy. They was much, they were very much so giving curls. Right here, so y'all know the top of my hair, like, I don't know what be going on with the curls there, but then also I be sleeping and my twist styles just never curl right here. Like it's always a wave and I don't like that but nonetheless this is very much so still giving so this camera battery is actually about to die so i'm going to switch batteries put this one on the charger fluff out my hair and then i will be back when the hair is all all the way together <laughs> let me be the first to say it y'all <laughs> Like, I want to stand right there because that light is not doing me any justice. But, y'all, I'm trying to find, like, a good light, good angle. This is the best twist out I've ever had. Like, it's giving wash and go. I didn't change this camera battery, so give me a second. Y'all, so Brennan's back. He went to... Oh, I was telling him all about you. So now you got to reintroduce yourself. Just for people that may not, you know, remember you. Brennan, BF Productions. There How's you go. That's Instagram. Follow him. Book my guy. But we got this place called El Diablo. I've never had them before. He says they're like Chipotle, but way better than Chipotle. We'll see. <laughs> they had a bunch of different sauces and stuff I wanted to try. So they had some pineapple sauce. I got it on the side, though, because I wasn't sure. Um, I think this is like the cilantro something what was it honey something y'all and this is something too i don't remember i'm gonna i'm gonna look at the names of the stuff i told them to bring me and then i'll tell y'all but all right this big old box is a little bigger than chipotle and it's heavy hold up hold up hold up because they're more expensive than chipotle y'all but he said they get bigger portions so look at that burrito y'all <laughs> it's wrapped terribly though they did they messed it up there's a new guy all right colorful pretty looks fresh that's how i tell you looks a lot fresher i'm gonna give y'all a little taste test on the camera hold on <laughs> you said it was a new guy yeah damn he violated and i can finish telling y'all about my hair even though the lighting isn't as good right here either but i'm about to try this food but y'all this is really the best twist out i've ever done like do y'all see the hydration in this 
Hold on, let, let, let's taste the food. It's given. I, I told you. It's good, y'all. I don't know if it's better per se. Like, it kind of tastes like a knockoff Chipotle. Whoa. Like, this don't give me Mexican food. It's better. <laughs> mm -mm. It's better. It's good. Yeah, you even got no sauce and it's good. Right, that's true. Yeah, I know I can't eat Chipotle without the vinaigrette. This, I ain't got no sauce and it's good. I'm about to actually try the sauces. Alright, so I had Brennan bring me a pineapple salsa, honey jalapeno, and roasted garlic cilantro. So the pineapple salsa is literally just pineapples. I didn't know that. Mmm, it got a kick to it. It's a salsa, y'all. They put jalapenos in it. But I definitely taste that. They're spicy. Pineapple salsa, good. Um, this is probably the roasted garlic. Yeah, I think that's what this is. It don't smell like honey. It might be honey jalapeno because it's sweet. It's not nasty though. This might be the roasted garlic cilantro. This is the roasted garlic cilantro. It's very cilantro-y. <laughs> it's good though. Like I'm about to pour it on my food, but it just caught me off guard because it really tastes like mad cilantro, y'all. So yeah, about to eat. Then I'm gonna come back because I also like, when I was taking this twist down, I remembered that. Hold up, y'all, sorry. They don't give you a lot of chicken though. I'll say that. <laughs> There's barely any chicken in this. <laughs> Chipotle, you can finesse them. You can ask for a little more chicken. They'd be like, you want a double? No, I just want a little more. And they wind up still giving you a whole double. So, but you ain't got to pay for the double. You heard it here first, y'all. But this, this is real skimp. Like, <laughs> I might have to go in there for myself so then I can ask for more chicken when I see they put this yeah, little bit. Many hours later. And that is a wrap, y'all. Thank you, Brennan. No problem. I'm not even going to tell y'all what time it is because yeah um my lash is a mess because we tried some wet shoots at the very end so i'm actually probably gonna have to throw these out these was my favorites you know they did what needed to be done i wore these lashes so like this one pair of lashes i've been wearing non-stop since like april every time you see me with lashes they were the la these lashes of course by catrice the my brand if you didn't know if you knew here um these are in the style casey i believe casey is still in stock Corey and Kaya are sold out, so you might want to cop up. I mean, they're not giving right now because they're wet. Um, I'm gonna let them dry though, and I'll like you know let you guys know how they dry up. I'll show you guys tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's really late. As y'all can see, my hair is wet. I'm debating if I just want to stay here or not. I don't know. Like, might as well get my money's worth, you know, paid for one night at a hotel, and for me not to even spend the night is crazy. But I mean, we have been here a long time, but yeah i don't know if i told you guys but was able to remove those shampoos off of the wall unfortunately though i couldn't get my sh my products on there but i also remembered like oh this light looks crazy hold up okay that's a little better again i wet my entire face so my makeup is just gonna look crazy y'all but oh my gosh <laughs> i think i'm just gonna go like further into depth of the products and everything like actually sit down and tell you guys about the line tomorrow because again i'm gonna just tell you what time it is it's damn near 11 o'clock it's 10 50 um 10 52 but you know for me and brennan this this is good time because we, we we normally be at this all night like that vlogmas intro how long did that take us that's crazy mind you that was a 30 second video intro like yeah but I'm about to change out of these wet clothes, put my hair up, um, and I guess I'll just come back to you guys tomorrow. We back at it again, but tomorrow should be really one, two, three, because we have like five sh shots that I'm trying to get. So I already got the mapped out and everything. So tomorrow should be easier. But y'all, oh, I meant to tell you. So I'm really so. This is why I came to pull the camera back out, y'all why i didn't get any final shots of that twist out and y'all saw how perfect that twist out was like i'm not exaggerating not just because i used my products not to toot my own horn though but that was literally the best twist out i have ever done i will enter pictures videos and all that of every other twist out i've ever done and it was never that defined like that twist out was really giving wash and go like it was so moisturized <sighs> y'all i might have to run that back 
and then record it to enter it at the end of the video with my own camera something because Y'all saw it on the vlog. I did record some for Instagram. I'm gonna insert the ones that I recorded from Instagram because they look, you know, I couldn't get the real, the right light in, in here for y'all. But the ones that I got for Instagram, it was amazing. Make sure y'all turn on your post bell notifications. Follow my business page. Follow my page so you're notified when the line drops because you need this, honey. If you're twisting rights, I mean twisting rights. If you're twist outs, don't be right. You need these products in your life, okay? Oh, that kind of rhyme. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It was a little early. A little early. Just a little. And then turn them this way, like more to me. So you guys, we just finished shooting completely. That is a wrap. We are all done. There is no more. I didn't get that much behind the scenes footage today because honestly, I wasn't trying to have Brennan here all night. It only took us two hours. So I'm very proud of me. And that's including, you know, I did kind of curl my hair. We about to talk about my hair in a second. Um, I did kind of curl my hair. You know, he had to get the lighting correct. He spent a lot of time, you know, uh, just shooting the products and, you know, arranging them to make them look nice and whatnot. But, um, yeah, about my hair, y'all. Since going natural, my hair will not stay straight for t to save my life. Like, <laughs> y'all, I just straightened it this morning and I had a scarf on till it was time for him to get here. I took it off and I immediately was hot. Like I was hot. My hair started poofing up, poofing up. I wasn't doing nothing to it. I was literally applying the flat iron to it every two seconds because I didn't want it to be puffy in the pictures. Granted, my my guy he could finesse, but it's only but so much he can do. I didn't want it to look big or none of that. So I kept applying heat to my hair. And this is why I don't straighten it and I don't wear straight. Like even in the winter, my hair will get like this. This side's a little more straight, but it is definitely like frizzy. Um, it held the curls better though like once I curled it the frizziness like it was really looking like this while it was straight but when I curled it you know it calmed down a little bit more this side I was running my fingers through it a lot and I curled it in the wrong direction so that's why this side really looks like that but I still got on my little outfit this blazer is is like a suit it is so cute y'all let me show you like this it is so cute y'all gonna see it in the um pictures but I need an actual picture in this um like outside somewhere so for real for real maybe tomorrow because i'm off tomorrow again i think i'm gonna throw this back on and go somewhere nice to take some pictures because this blazer is too freaking cute this blazer outfit it is very like i don't know if i would wear this actually doing something or maybe i just need to get it tailored because it is kind of long and my heel keeps because y'all see it got holes my heels keep getting caught in the freaking holes so like it's dangerous but i wanted to come on here while i was still dressed in this because since i didn't get you know that many behind the scene clips for y'all y'all can see what it was giving all the products right here i kind of knocked some down. we got the logo on the computer screen and just stay tuned y'all i am so excited um, I don't know if I came on here. So now we, we can actually talk because again, I didn't have time to really pull out my camera and like tell y'all what we was doing. Hello, it's the next day by the way because I just came up on here talking. Here comes Kaya. Um, but yeah, yesterday after I done washed my hair after that bomb twist out y'all, I realized that we never got final shots of my hair for the little ad y'all. And like at that point, my hair was already washed. It was literally nothing I can do about it. Like, it's not... I could have redid the hairstyle, but I probably... So, regardless, today, which is the day after yesterday, the day after the hotel and everything, um, today, I needed my hair straight for the shoot. So, like, I could have, you know, straightened my hair and then for this shoot and then redid the twist out. But my thing is, all this heat I didn't apply to my hair today, I'm going to make this stretch as long as I can. I even thought about doing a ponytail on myself to increase the longevity of this style so it's not like i straighten my hair for absolutely no reason even if it's in a little ponytail bun whatever y'all gonna see my natural hair in this element for a little minute like i'm not even gonna straighten it again i'm literally just gonna wrap it and if my curls is kind of you know curled for the remainder of this style so be it but i'm not putting no more heat like when i tell y'all i've kept going back to that flat iron because my hair kept just poofing up like i was hot all the lights <sighs> i don't know how y'all do it my naturals that straighten their hair often but couldn't be me child but yeah so 
like I say all of that to say it just would have pushed everything further back and like when I realized we didn't shoot the end of the video I had just announced you know I got a launch date because I was calculating by the time he uh you know gets everything back to me and I get the last finishing pieces that I need July 5th that is the day we will be launching well would you call it a launch yeah the new product new collection launch that is the day mark your calendars follow me on instagram follow the brand at shop catrice um so like if we would have had to push it back because we needed to refilm that and then also i wasn't booking the hotel again so i'm like i could do this style again but it's not going to be given the same thing because it's going to be a whole different bathroom it's not going to be the same bathroom it's not going to be the same background so we just had to take that l um so the way we ended the video when you guys see it yeah just know it was improvising and i'm so sad about that i do think i'm going i have came to the conclusion that i think i'm going to actually film how i did my twist out for you guys on youtube i wasn't going to do it at first because like i have a twist out video on my channel i think i have two actually but y'all can even go back like when i tell y'all yesterday's twist out was it y'all can go watch the two twist out videos on my channel it looked nothing like yesterday yo like that was different like i'm thinking i did the same exact thing i did in those two videos it's just the products i use so i was just gonna tell y'all the products and y'all can go do it yourself but i'm gonna I'm give y'all a little video whatever so stay tuned for that um i'll probably do the twist out again after this wears off but we gotta talk sis but y'all tired of seeing me at this angle so i'm about to sit down and grab a tripod all right you guys so i'm sitting in my big comfy chair if you will i was gonna say couch but it ain't a couch i'm um, changing my shirt something a little more comfortable I got the little products behind me we're not gonna focus too much on them though y'all just gonna have to wait for the drop well actually before the drop i'm thinking i'm gonna like release the promo and everything prior to the drop you know to what's the word create anticipation almost that's not really like the word or the phrase i was going for but yeah I want people to see the product, like people that already don't follow me, we gonna gain some new customers and whatnot. I want y'all to see everything before the release so y'all can go ahead and follow, anticipating up until the release, so that when it does release, we already got people in line ready to secure theirs, okay? All right, so I just wanted to sit down and you know further break down my brand and everything that has went into it, y'all. I'm just like in love, I'm in awe, all of that, like, yeah, so um, the name of the line, so Catrice is the brand. The name of this line is Kinks and Curls with K's. So um, I actually made a silhouette of myself with three different hairstyles. It didn't make it onto the labels. Let me, let me show y'all. We, we really, I'm giving y'all the tea on YouTube, okay? So when it came to my labels, y'all, it was so much trial and error like i'm about to show y'all it's just so many versions of my label like i'm gonna just show y'all from the back it's so many versions of my label that did not make the cut that just didn't make it um let me change this battery really quickly because it's actually about to die okay i'm back so the silhouette i made didn't make it to the labels because i just didn't like the way that it was printing out i don't know if i told you guys but my parents got me a printer for mother's day so i am i designed and i'm printing my hope my own labels the labels that are on these bottles i made them myself da, 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 da. um the silhouette i just wasn't liking the way it was printing it may or may not make it onto the website i'm not sure yet if you guys aren't new to supporting the brand which if you don't you should it's more than hair it's more than hair products hair and beauty hello i sell lashes i sell lip gloss i sell bonnets i used to sell like t-shirts and stuff um I don't know right now my main focus is just hair like I'm loving the hair aspect of it but yeah so everything on my site and my brand starts with the K so the kinks and curls with K's I feel like was very spot on every chance I could to swap a C with a K I did that to be spot on so again it is six products well it's five products in this line in the kinks and curls line um the oil it does say kinks and curls on the label but you know initially that was a first release so it's not really part of this collection but i just wanted wanted everything to go together since i switched the bottles of the uh the oil um like aesthetically next to everything else in this collection it looked better to just have the label sticker as if it were a part of the collection too but that's neither here nor there so if you include the oil there are six uh products in this collection so we have the shampoo the conditioner the leave-in the hair lotion the multi-use conditioner and then the oil i think i mentioned all of this yesterday 
the video we shot yesterday is wash day that's the theme of the video it's wash day so there will be a bundle set cons uh consisting of the first four items the shampoo the conditioner the leave-in and the hair lotion which i feel like are the essentials you need for a wash day you obviously need well depending on who you are you need a, a shampoo you need a conditioner you need a leave-in and then the hair lo lotion ultimately is to trap in that moisture from the leave-in from the water all of that so in your wash day process y'all know how the lco or loc however you do it the leave-in the cream would be the hair lotion and then oil of choice you know mine is always going to be catrice the brand but your oil of choice or whatever that's kind of what i was aiming for with the whole wash day thing wash day washing and then styling because that's what i do in the video so yeah those four items are sold as a set and then i have the multi-use conditioner so there are three different uses that you can use the multi-use conditioner for that's why i just named it that because it's universal well not universal because that literally means everything but you can either use it as a pre-boo pre-boo what mm -hmm. a pre-poo a co-wash or a deep conditioner so fun fact before i did my uh twist out i had literally washed my hair maybe like a week ago so i didn't want to wash it again if you're washing your hair every week let me tell you now red flag red flag stop it our hair does not need to be washed weekly y'all it does not okay i wash my hair once a month y'all i wash it every time i take out my wig braids and re-put them in but halfway through like i keep my wig braids in for a month what i want to start doing is taking them out and then redoing them so like getting them done twice a month but right after i take them out the first time i'm a co-wash in the middle of the month feel me so you're cleansing your hair but not stripping away the oils or the natural moisture that's already there so that's what cold washing is pre pooing is to make well one it coats your hair so when you shampoo you don't strip your hair at, of as much moisture if that's making sense i feel like i'm wording it all crazy um but i would also use it as a it's a multi-use conditioner so it's meant to be used to detangle and whatnot so i would use it i'm gonna use it when i'm transitioning back to curly hair i'm gonna put it over my hair being straight like this but if your hair is like in a wash and go state or a twist out i don't recommend combing through that even if you you're adding a product like a conditioner or something else saturate your hair with water first so that's just personally how i would use a, a pre-poo I mean you can use it after a wash and go and you don't necessarily have to like evenly distribute it through your hair by like combing it through you can literally just coat your hair let it sit for a few and then shampoo that's the key y'all let it sit for a few because again the point of a pre-poo is so you're not taking away to kind of preserve some of that moisture in your hair when you do shampoo it that's what i'm trying to say um but i feel like i'm talking in circles y'all i'm sorry this is i should have had like key points because again your girl can talk if you knew here and you didn't know i could talk <laughs> um but yeah so those four items will be sold in a set it is it's called the wash day set it's shampoo conditioner leave-in and then the hair lotion the multi-use conditioner and my oil obviously will be sold separately as individual items i will also have you know the shampoo the leave-in the hair lotion the conditioner sold as separate items too but i'm just letting you guys know it will be available as a bundle which will be cheaper than buying each individual item individually but then there's also those people you know you get a bundle and either a you run through just one type of product like for example i have a friend who personally told me she uses conditioner way more than she uses shampoo so you bought the line as one to save money but now you're only out of the conditioner you can buy the conditioner by itself without having to repurchase the whole line you know what i'm saying so everything will be available individually but just those four items will be a bundle i considered doing a bundle with all six products i don't know that might come you know later down the line we'll see something else i was actually considering was maybe a little pre-order period but i mean the release is literally in 20 days y'all like from the point of me um filming this video by the time y'all see this video actually it'll be literally two weeks before the release which reminds me this week's vlog is late today is tuesday but 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 in my defense right i haven't actually committed to a schedule with you guys because like in the past i would say i'm posting you know every every wednesday at this time and then when i don't do it i beat myself up about it so i, I haven't given myself a you know set day and time that i post but i have been posting on tuesdays as of lately it's either tuesday or wednesday um y'all gonna get a video this week though like i said next six months we putting in that work i ain't posting everything i don't care what it is y'all don't care what it is y'all just want me to post i'm gonna post it 
one thing i'm super upset about when it comes to my line is now the label situation like yesterday i feel like i mentioned this already but y'all <laughs> one of the shots that we shot for the video involved obviously me being in the shower so getting the products wet y'all i took that shampoo and the letters started moving i'm like so i'm like touching it like am i bugging and the entire label rinsed off y'all the clear labels that i have are not waterproof mind ya the company that i got the blank labels from because again i'm printing my own labels um i didn't went through like three different types of labels that they have but the first labels i ordered were waterproof weatherproof all of that proof but being that my uh the product bottles are already naturally white the labels were white i felt like white on white labels just look dumb so that's why i wanted to switch to the clear labels so i switched to the clear labels not knowing that they weren't waterproof until yesterday and i was like okay i'm glad i you know found this out now rather than trying to sell the product y'all get it and the same day you use it the label missing granted you know the product's still gonna be the same but that that's janky that's ghetto okay so i'm probably gonna have to go back to so the products you guys physically get will not look will probably not look like the ones online like i like the clear labels let me sh let me see which one i want to show y'all 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 can see this one we're gonna show y'all the back of this one if it if it so the clear label ultimately makes this look like this stuff is written on the bottle like you can't really see the start of the label and the finish of the label but a white label on a white bottle you can see where the label starts and where it ended and that just looked really janky to me but i'm, I'm looking at it this way right in the long run when um, when my business becomes a multi-million dollar billion dollar business right i can look back at my evol evolution you know where I, like i'm just now starting out I don't have a lot of money. I'm not rich to be investing all this money into my business. So, you know, we, we all got to start from somewhere. And I feel like that's my issue, too. Like, I be trying to be top of the top to make it look so good. And it's like, Clay, you got to chill. Like, at the end of the day, from where I'm coming from, I'm doing a pretty damn good job. And I got to pat myself on the back for that. But, yeah. Um, like, even now, I look back to when I first started my business in 2018 when it was pretty pretty basic official and even to when I did change the name to Catrice the brand in 2019 I'm gonna insert a picture of my logo from when I I'm gonna insert the pretty ba basic um logo and then Catrice the brand logo when I first changed it to Catrice the brand versus what Catrice the brand is now like I've come such a long way and I literally do everything all by myself y'all from designing to printing to I do everything by myself the most I've had someone do and only the this time this is the first time i'm having somebody else take pictures for my brand every other time i've taken them myself this is the first time the first so like i'm just i'm excited but i'm nervous to see how it all comes together but i can't wait like i'm super excited so again today's tuesday he's gonna send me you know all the raw pictures and everything by tomorrow night by saturday he said he'll have the video done and then by next wednesday he'll have all the pictures that i pick out edited and yeah y'all i'm excited i'm nervous i'm anxious I, I just feel everything so i guess this is kind of like an entrepreneurial type vlog if you will behind the scenes scenes of my photo shoot talking a little more about my business but yeah y'all like this is only the beginning like one day my products will be on shelves target beauty supply store they gonna be on shelf somewhere y'all so stay tuned again follow me on instagram follow the brand on instagram i guess i can kind of give y'all a lint check too because my curls have dramatically dropped and i didn't show you guys my hair when it was straight because it was straight majority of the shoot i didn't um curl it till the very end i actually want to get one of them shirts that mark your length on the back because like it's hard to tell in pictures and videos that i take because my hair will look a different freaking length every single time so this is how long my hair is i don't have no pants on so i'm gonna pull the shirt down and then i'm gonna show you where like pants would start so like this is the top of my butt and then my hair i'm sorry y'all my camera definitely just cut off because i ran out of storage so the top of like if i had jeans on low rise jeans it would come like right here and then my hair is about right here y'all so i'm almost at waist freaking length like y'all see how close we are to waist length like 
yeah this lighting is real janky i just got <laughs> the light that we were shooting with and then it's completely dark outside it's pitch black outside another thing i want to point out y'all these press-ons did right by me baby y'all see they still on granted it's only been a day but they they pretty sturdy okay nail salon who nail salon what because that nail salon definitely left a bad taste in my mouth again if you didn't watch the last vlog go watch that real quick because i need to find a new nail salon or i might really you know be a press-on girl because these aren't bad out of all the press-ons i tried these one look the most natural to the most sturdy like i have yet to have a nail uh, pop off those ones from forever 21 first of all they're not really thick second of all they already have an adhesive on them sorry y'all got hiccups the adhesive is trash and then when you try to put you know nail glue on the adhesive the nail glue don't work as much but these i ain't been having no problem here come kaya all right, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here because I feel like I did a lot of just talking right now at this moment sitting down. So again, this is just going to be like an entrepreneurial type of vlog. I don't have one of those on my channel. Let me know if y'all want more like, because again, I've been doing this business thing for four years now and I don't really talk too much about it. I feel like I don't talk enough about it. Um, so let me know if you guys want more videos like this, more behind the scenes. Love you guys so much. I will see you guys in my next video. If you haven't already, make sure you are following me on my social media. Again, mark your calendars, baby. July 5th, Kinks and Curls wash day will be available. I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye, y'all. Go on and subscribe. Don't forget it. Yeah. And for Friday.